Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Auto Darts, I wanted to give a quick Jupiter update because I'm getting a lot of emails, a lot of comments, and even some negative reviews. This last holiday season took us by storm. I am so thankful for all of you, all of your orders and shop support. The shop had the two busiest months we've ever had in November and December. And because of that and some other factors, we are now completely out of Jupiter. And I did promise that we would have them back in January, and while our print capacity has been improving and we've been catching up, we are now simultaneously out of stock on motors. Now, we should have these pretty soon. They were ordered two months ago. We're not 100% sure whether they've been delayed due to the coronavirus, Wuhan coronavirus rather, or something similar. There was also Chinese New Year in there, which does tend to slow things up by a week or so. We should have them back on the shop and with some new surprises. Tarek, my good friend and partner here on the shop, put together an amazing color picker for Jupiter. This is a little bit like the FDL color picker where you'll be able to pick each individual color and see an actual render and 3D model that you can then move around. This is gonna give you a lot more options. You can choose every single individual component and its color, as well as future upgrades and other features we wanna add on to it. One neat feature here is that as you hover over the actual swatches, which are color sampled by the way, we've also taken physical large photos that we've color corrected using a really good color chart and making a neutral profile. So these little swatch pictures you're seeing will start showing up on all the listings across the website. And we hope that's gonna be a better experience for all of you that wanna purchase blasters or purchase parts. You'll have a better idea of what the actual final color is going to look like. Because uh, another frequent email I get is, what color is Proton Purple? Because we haven't yet printed it on every single uh, product and part yet, so it's good to take the time to get these up there. Speaking of Proton Purple, this is Proton Purple. It is a sparkly glitter, beautiful dark kind of purple maroon, and I absolutely love it. It's a color I had custom made from Protopasta. Protopasta is 100% USA made filament, and they happen to be just right around the corner from my warehouse. So it was pretty easy to get over there and pester them. But thanks again, Protopasta, for making this filament for me custom. This will be on all of the listings. It's on Jupiter, and we just shot the color picker swatch as well. The reason we fell behind in the first place was just simple popularity. The blasters sold an insane amount in November and December, and we had to spend a good amount of time catching up. We also had the Percy's Hopper launch back in October. The lead times on that are now down to under four weeks, and we are improving that week by week as we just had another 10 printers show up this week. Now, I know some of you are asking, when are you gonna do a tour? And I promise I'll do one as soon as we get the warehouse a little bit more settled. The team is doing an amazing job getting everything organized, getting better processes in place, and I wanna do a live stream, hopefully uh, end of February or early March, to show you all the new space. Right now, we are up to 36 Prusa i3 Mark III's, uh, the S model, and we've got a couple minis that have just shown up as well. I've got a lot more minis on the way, so we're hoping to combat some of this print capacity <laughs> and those issues in the future. In 2020, we will also be adding every single color that we have to all of the listings. Right now, that's about 16 colors, and we are also looking to expand that to about a total of 20. Simultaneously, we've been working to get more and more USA-made filament because I love the idea of products that are made in the US and if I can get USA polymer and USA filament, it's a lot less shipping, it's less packaging and a lot less environmental impact. So hopefully 2020 is gonna be the year of a lot more USA filament and I think it's gonna be a really great step for the shop. A few of you were rather disappointed that I didn't deliver Jupiter's shipping again in January and took the time to actually write a negative review. So. What I'd like to do rather than complain about those people is if you've purchased a Jupiter or you've used a Jupiter, we would love a review. We'd love to hear from you and one star reviews really do affect our shop and we don't delete reviews uh, unless it's uh, you know, blatantly not a review and someone just spamming, we won't take a review down. So we will leave those up for people to choose to remove them themselves, which we obviously would prefer since those people have not purchased a blaster yet. Uh, but the better solution we always think is just to overwhelm it with positive reviews. And we know 
Uh, we've gotten wonderful feedback from everybody that's purchased Jupiter. We are not done with the platform. We're going to definitely be working on more things and upgrades and add-ons. The Proton Pack, for those interested, is still in process here. It's a pretty considerable financial commitment to get both the motors and the blower made. So I will have an update video on that as well, hopefully with some really good news. And I'm aiming to have those out well in advance for End War to hopefully turn the tide on those Zeds. Thank you so much for watching. Your support of the shop and the channel means a lot. I know I haven't produced a lot of videos in the last month here. We have been really careful to pause everything in the shop, take time to physically take a step back and make sure we're getting organized, having good processes put in place so we can offer all of you the best service absolutely possible. Until next time, I'm out of darts.